welcome to my first ever vlog video so in this i'll just do a little rundown of the series in this series i'm just going to be documenting my transition to early morning rises getting up first thing in the morning it's been something that i've been trying to work into as a goal for a little while now but due to becoming a family man and other various things it just hasn't been possible but now i'm in a position where i think it's possible so I'm looking to start this as the way going forwards, as getting up early as I can in the morning, well not as early as I can, but early mornings, get into the gym and then continuing on with the rest of the day so I can focus on work, I can focus on clients and I can focus on family. So let's take it back to this morning. <laughs> Okay, so my first morning session is currently 4.56 a.m. And um, I feel false. I feel so false. I, like, I don't know if you feel like this, but when you try and do something new that's slightly out of character, you it doesn't it just doesn't feel like it's meant like you're really doing it and when you are doing it you feel like you're pretending to do it that you're only a one step away from slipping up but it's weird because i'm very proud of myself so i'm going to be walking into the gym i'm going to go in there obviously being a pt and having the office space i'm going to have my breakfast and i'm going to train see how that training session goes and this is the beginning of the early rising sessions and to see how I get on with it. The idea is that I want to be, I'm happy to coach clients at 6am. So I want to be first in, get my session done, about 40 to 50 minute session, nice and quick. Get back to a four to five time a week pr program rather than a two or a three. And I just feel like if I can get in at five before everything else starts for the day, that will get me set up correctly. And then I can crack on with other tasks in the other parts of the day and I can focus on food and I can get into a good routine. But that initial first time always feels false because it's like, all right, you did it today, but can you do it tomorrow? And then can you do it the next day or the day after or whenever you feel like you're supposed to be doing it. And then, you, and then at any moment, you can just stop. But a couple of things that I did to try and ensure that I was able to get up at this time in the morning, which was 4.30, the alarm went off. Um, and so what I did, first of all, I used my sleep cycle app. Uh, that, I put it so that it had the wake up window of about 30 minutes, so it could have woke me up any time between 4 and 4.30. Uh, thank God it woke me up at 4.30. It was like, you're still asleep, so we'll just give you the whole thing. I deliberately went to bed a bit earlier than I have been in past. Normally I'm in bed by 11 or 12. This time I was in bed by about quarter to 10, quarter to 10, 10 o'clock, which isn't great. I know it was quarter past 10, so it's still not great because I'm still getting about six hours or just under six hours of sleep. But the idea is hopefully I can get into a routine of being asleep by 9.30. But it's tricky because obviously being a PT, finishing late evenings, so if I have a client seven to eight, then getting home, eating at nine, and it's unfair on my, on my girlfriend if she's not getting any time, attention or affection, um, or if it's only for like 30 minutes. So we'll see how that goes, but it's practice, practice, practice. The next thing I did to try and help me be successful with this early morning situation is I, the idea was to set a rule one rule that was going to make me feel more awake and that one rule was to have my headphones to the side of the bed to put my headphones in and go straight to youtube and watch a mo uh, listen to a motivation video or watch it if i could see i felt if i was to overwhelm myself with the idea of going to like waking up getting straight into action it's just not realistic it would have felt like horribly false i would have felt like a, like a con man and then I probably would have just turned it over and gone straight back to sleep because it's just ridiculous ideas. 
But I thought if I can put a he- if I can just reach over, and grab a headphone, put that in, and get as quickly as possible to something that's motivating and uplifting, that would get me going for the morning, and it would it would feel even harder to go back to sleep because I would have heard something that would have got me inspired. Ironically, though, didn't bring my headphone charging case home, and my headphones were dead, so I had no motivation videos. But because I was fixated on doing that thing I actually did get up and here I am doing a little video to let you guys know what's going on and how I got in, how I got into it so if there's one takeaway from this video and I'm hoping that I can keep this going which is why I'm doing this video to, and posting it so that I'm accountable to not just myself but other people and if I fail I fail but at least I've tried that's the first step I've tried tried something new, tried something that makes me feel false initially. But if I can keep up the momentum, and I say always Ezra willing, because at the moment he's sleeping all the way through the night and he is going to bed fuss free, which is amazing. It changes the game drastically. So here I am doing something that I probably haven't done in the last eight, at least at least eight years. I have not been to the gym post 6 a.m. in like at least eight years. So. It feels, it feels amazing and I feel like I look quite fresh. So I haven't been too drastically affected, but we'll see how we go. It's not a long coaching day. Yesterday wasn't a long coaching day. So there's a lot of factors that are making this a little bit easier. But that initial thought process of getting up at 4.30 is, is still, no matter how good the day is before, the day is after, it's not, it's not an easy thing to do, but I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, so there were a couple of things that I did that worked. Things are lined up pretty well. Gonna get my food on board and then I'm gonna train. Even if the session's 30 minutes, it's 30 minutes. At least I can get myself into that habit, into that routine and I know how to work around that then. But see how we go. Catch you on the other side. So as you can see, I didn't really record a lot of my workout. Um, I wanted to put myself in a position where it felt like I was under time pressure to get the session done by a certain amount of time. Once that was complete, then I moved on to creating some content ready for um, my site, um, but also ready for the training app so that people had some new tutorial videos on how to perform certain exercises. Um, so all in all, the session went well, though I felt strong. Obviously I'd eaten, things had felt good. And the benefit I found from obviously eating so early in the morning is that by around mid morning or at least before that, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm ready to eat again, which is beneficial for me and my goal, which is to try and gain some size. Whereas typically I would have a situation where I'm eating in like later in the day and then I'd have maybe clients. So it might, sometimes I'd have clients in the morning, I'd get up late, get to the gym, train my, my first few clients, and then eat late in the day. So knowing that I've got my first meal in early is great, and I'm in a position where I think I could potentially increase my first meal because it's so early, and still be able to get many meals in for the rest of the day as well, as long as I plan those out correctly. That's, that's a real good sign. I'm happy about that, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens tomorrow in my session. For the rest of the day, I, it was me and Ezra for most of it. It's a case of just keeping them active, keeping them entertained and being like getting to the gym that early and then coming home had no bearing on my energy whatsoever. Not a negative one. It, I'm, if, if anything, I felt more alert. I felt, felt in a, a good mind space. It just felt good about the day. Whereas typically on a Tuesday, I wouldn't actually get into the gym because I normally would only train on a Monday and a Wednesday, maybe on the weekend if I'm lucky. So Tuesdays I wouldn't normally get into the gym and train and I wouldn't be up as early, I'd be up when Ezra kind of wakes up. So I'd be waking up from Ezra as my, being my alarm. So it was nice to be in a position where I was the, I was the first responder essentially and I was the one that was ready to, to kind of attack the day and go. 
which meant I had better energy for Ezra. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing tomorrow's session. I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. Tomorrow, I might record a little bit more of the workout for you guys to check out so you can see what I'm kind of doing at the moment. Next week, we'll have a solid program, so I will try and document bits of that as well. But obviously, filming workouts on your own is tricky, so I don't want to spend too much of my time doing it. But if I can do it, I will do it. But yeah. No, I feel good. I feel strong, youthful, energised. And I guess the goal is to try and get to bed a bit earlier tonight. And then be in a position where I feel more fresh tomorrow, hopefully. Anyway, so I'll film the next one and you guys can check that out. But in the meantime, if you could like, share, subscribe to the channel, that would be a massive help. And if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments section because it's nice to get feedback and to know that this isn't falling on empty ears. So, take it steady guys, catch you tomorrow.